So in this lesson, we're just going to look at how to create um, a ladder effect. So the character, getting the character kind of climb up a ladder. Now, there's multiple ways of doing this, but I'm just going to go for the absolute simplest way that I've found. So let's come over into the tile map and let's create a new sprite. So what you will need to do is not link any of them. So you can't press Control D and start again. We're just going to we're just going to start from the top node and we're going to build it from scratch. So we're going to press the plus button. We're going to add the sprite and we're going to label it um, ladder. And you can do all kinds of things like this. So if you've got a rope in your one, you can obviously do it with a rope as well. So if I come into my graphics and go to my tiles, scroll down to where my ladder is. And there's multiple different kinds of ladders. So if you want to use the top and the middle and all the rest of it, that's absolutely fine as well. I'm just going to use the middle one for this. So I'm going to grab it and I'm going to pull it into the texture slot. So we're going to set it up almost identical to these ones. So the next thing I need is a static body 2D. So static body 2D, which is, let's just type it. There it is, static body 2D. And then attached to that, we also need a collision shape 2D. So double click on that one. Now, I'm going to move this so I can see what I'm doing. But before I move it, just click on this top one and then lock all those layers down, okay? Just so that they're all locked together so nothing kind of dismantles itself. Once I've moved them, I'm just going to unlock them and I'm going to add this collision shape. So let's just zoom in and let's add our usual rectangle. And the collision for this is just going to interact with the, the ladder segment. So probably leave it there. Remember, I'm just touching the inner side of this. So there we go. There's one there. Now, the thing that's going to make this work so the player can move in front of this and then jump onto it is this button here, one way collision. And what this basically does is it will only react with collision or our player will only react with it if it's standing on top of it not if it hits it from the side. So we turn that on and you can see it's, it's only going to react with it if it stands on top of it. So then I'm going to press Control D and I'm going to add that same one above it. So we've got that set up. Let's lock all this back into place so when we're applying it to our map it all stays in one place. And let's save the scene. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to save this. I'm going to go Scene, Convert to and then I'm going to say Tile Set. Now, if you've already added ladders to your scene, you're going to want to delete them first, okay? So just make sure you delete them first. And I'm going to create a new tile set that just says tile set ladders. So, okay, so there's my tile set ladders. And once again, if you've got ladders in your scene, before you do this, just get rid of all, all of them first. Otherwise, it might get a bit confusing. Oh, and don't forget the extension. So it's dot .t. R E S and then press save. So that's ready to go. So let's go to our layer one here. And we are gonna have to change our, our level a little bit, okay? So here's our level. So click on the top node and then press the plus button and add a tile map. This tile map we're gonna call tile map ladder or ladders. And then we're going to apply our tile set to it. Four, let's just change these cells to 70. Otherwise, it does mess it up a little bit. And then press Enter. Um, now let's just add our tile. So go back to the original layer. So if I click on the res, and the one we want is going to be right at the bottom. It's called Tile Set Ladder. So drag that onto the null. And there it is. So here's our ladder. So we can draw that out now. Now, we, we do have one problem, and that is the player is going to go behind the ladder. So in order to get the player to go in front of it, we have to do two things, okay? So if I just play it, you'll see this. Hold on, let me just play it. I'll press play, and you'll see what happens, just to see that the, the actual um, detections work. But it does cause a couple of issues. So I'm just going to go through, and we can go to where that I've just created that ladder. Now, if you see, I can walk straight through it, which is great. Um, but I am going behind it, which is a real problem. But if I click up, it will land on one of the ledges. And if I click up again, it will keep landing on the ledges exactly the way I'm expecting. But it's not good because 
it's kind of going behind it. So there's two things we have to do in order to get our character to go in front, unless you want it to go behind, of course, which is absolutely fine. Um, in order to get our, our player to go behind it, we need to drag this to the very top, okay? And we need to place it above. But that will cause us one more problem, and that is the background then blocks it from seeing. So we have to detach the background now from the player by dragging it to the top level. This will put the background at the bottom, um, and obviously this won't be quite right because now it won't move. So in order to get that to work, unlock the background and then just drag it out as big as your level is, okay? And then once you've, let me just move it around just to make sure it's as big as my level is. And then what you've got then is your, your background will work and everything will work the way you, you expect it to. So I've detached the background from the player and I've put this ladders tile map above the player. Save my scene. So save all scenes and let's run that again to make sure that works. <clears throat> okay, so here it is. So press the start button, move through my level, jump onto the ladder. And once again, if this was a rope, you could do exactly the same principle with a rope as well. Um, just need to make the background a bit bigger, but there we go. So let me just show you that one more time on level two. So if we open up level two, um, it's here somewhere, there you are. Let's open up level two and let's do exactly the same thing again. So let's grab this background and drop it onto there and lock it, or let's make it bigger first. So let's make it as big as we want. Fantastic. And then let's lock that background. So the next thing we need to do is add the tile map. So select the top button there or the top node press the plus button add tile map and once again i'm just going to label it so i know exactly what this tile map is and i'm calling it ladders and then i'm going to drag ladders to the top just so it's above the player and there it is and then if we come down to the bottom here we're going to grab our ladders we're going to drop that into there and select the ladder now where should we put it so where's my character He's there. So let's put it here. Look. Oh, let's just change those collisions to 70. Otherwise, it does look a bit weird. Press enter. Now let's draw it out again. So let's start it here and draw it all the way to the top. Fantastic. And you can also have, if you know, if you want a, a sky map or whatever, you can go right up into the sky. I'm just going to get rid of those. But you can. So save all of our scenes. And then once again, we'll see what we've got ladders now that collide on both of our levels. And you, you know, once again, you can add ropes or, or whatever you want. Here we go. So press start. Now we know our first ladder works, but let's just uh, test it out anyway. There we go. Go to the next level and there's our ladder make sure we're in front of it make sure the background covers the whole scene and job done ah okay fantastic so get your levels get your ladders in and i'll see you in the next video